Okay, everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video just to introduce myself. My name is Ryan Prince. I'm your math teacher. Some of you guys already had me before, some of you haven't. I'm just going to give you a basic layout of how our Google Classroom is going to work and what you should expect to see every day. Um, as you can see, I'm using my second period geometry class as an example. Um, if you notice, right underneath the class code, uh, which I'm not sure if it even, I don't think it gives you the class code, but right underneath where it says second period geometry, you've got a Google Meet link. I will be available during your class period the entire time. If you just click that little link, I'm there. I'm ready to go. If you have a problem with something, you need to ask a question, I'm there. One-on-one -on -one help, whatever. Um, if you look, I've got some stuff posted right here. Um, the first assignment you see on this, you probably can't tell in the video, but it says it's a check-in assignment. It says Wednesday, August 26th, check-in assignment. That check-in assignment, what that is, it's just the bell ring. If you have me before, we did ACT throughout the day. We done some automaticity. Um, it's just that kind of thing. Where this is really important for you, that's what I'm using for our attendance for the day. If you don't do the check-in assignment, then you can, I consider that you did not check in with me that day. You were absent, okay? You still go back and do the assignment, but you're still absent for the day. You need to do that during the class period every day. Now, if something happens and your internet's out or something in the morning and you've got an 8 a.m. class, just do it as soon as your internet's available. Do that before you do anything else in my class, do that. Okay? The other assignment that I have posted um, for my geometry class for today, I have a midpoint formula assignment that's on the Google form. You click the Google form, it gives you an assignment. I'll click on it in a minute. Along with that, I have a video that breaks down how to do the assignment. That way, you can kind of work at your own pace, pause it, hit play, however you need to do. And I did that because if we're all trying to be live at the same time, some of y'all is going to lag, it's going to cause problems. And I'm going to have 30 people trying to ask me questions at the same time. So I did it this way, that way you can work at your own pace with the video, and then if you have questions, all you gotta do, go back up here, click the meet, the Google Meet link, and say, hey, Mr. Prince, I got a problem number four, man, what's going on here, and I'll help you, okay? Um, that's kind of how I expect to do the class until we get in person. Uh, there'll be a couple times, you know, that I'll say, all right, I need everybody on here, Wednesday at 9 o'clock or whenever your class period is. Um, if that happens, it'll just be everybody get on there. It probably won't be that I'm teaching a lesson live. I might just have to tell you guys all something at once, okay? Uh, and it might be something that you're going to be able to ask questions with and I, I don't feel like a video is going to do enough. Um, when that happens, it's not going to be a lot, but when that does happen, I need you to say, okay, I, I need to make sure I'm there for Mr. Prince. He's going to need me at that time. And I, I need you to be able to cooperate with that, okay? I'm not asking a whole lot of you as far as, you know, I need you at this exact time. But on those times, I do. Because I'll be live and I'll have, you know, a lot of people. I need everybody to be there together. Um, most of the time, I'm going to have pre-recorded stuff. And then we'll be able to do one-on-one. -on -one. But the way this works, on a Google Form, you would just click Google Form. Okay, here's a midpoint formula assignment. All right? This came up in a separate tab all by itself. Well, maybe I don't know how to use the midpoint formula. Well, all I gotta do is go back to the other tab, click midpoint formula, video for YouTube. I've already got it posted. I got it with the assignment. Okay? And it has audio and stuff. I got it turned down so it didn't mess with this video. You can make it full screen if you want to. You can see that I've been looking at golf videos because I think I'm good at golf and I'm really terrible. Um, but anyway, it was, it's just a little walkthrough. It goes through the whole thing. You hit play. This is a four minute video. I try to keep them short if I can. If you don't need an explanation at the beginning, maybe you need to go straight to the math. You can scroll wherever you want to. Y'all know how videos work. I know you guys YouTube stuff to figure stuff out all the time. All right. And then you just hit play and there you go. And it just, as I write stuff and explain stuff, if you've seen these videos before, then it makes it easy to follow the math. That's why I do videos instead of just giving you notes. Okay? So then you'd work out whatever problem you have. 
So you want to know the midpoint between 3, 8 and negative 5, 12. You just write those two points down and then just follow along the math. Okay? This is the math for negative 3, negative 3, 7, 5. But I'll show you where all the numbers come from and I'll show you how to work out the math. So you can work alongside and you've got an example the whole way. That's going to be really good for you while you're trying to learn a new skill. Alright, back to Google Classroom. Oh, I'm already on Google Classroom. Never mind. The YouTube video is in bed. I forgot about that. I don't know how to exit it. Oh, okay. You just click off of it. See, I just learned something. Y'all saw me learn something. I didn't know how to click off that thing. Um, but anyway, I mean, that's pretty well it. Just look for stuff. I'll try to have, I'll make sure the very first thing you see every day should be the check-in assignment. If I post other stuff, I'll move it to the top. That way, the very first thing you can see, I've got the date on it and everything. and gives you the check-in assignment. And then I'll have the date for all your actual assignments, too. Um, and we'll just go from there. I think everything should be good. It should be a good year. If y'all have any questions for me, again, during whatever class period you have me, all you got to do is click the Google Meet. I will be there, okay? Um, if some event, you click it and I'm not there, then give me a couple minutes because maybe I, I might have got booted or something because of the internet. Y'all know how the internet goes. Um, if that happens, don't click on there. So well, he ain't even on there and then get off. Don't do that. Just click on there, keep doing your work, and then I should pop up pretty quick, okay? Because I, I'm planning on keeping it up at all times unless I have internet issues. And if I have internet issues, I will make an announcement in the Google Classroom. Hey, the internet's out of the school, or maybe I didn't get to come to school that, that day. There might be a reason they're not letting me for some reason that day. If I'm at home and the internet's messed up, I always make sure you know here, hey, I'll catch you later. I can't do it right now, okay? We're going to kind of be at the mercy of technology for a little while, but I, I'm going to try to do my best to make sure that it doesn't affect our class too much, uh, in a negative way anyway, so. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can send me an email or click the link at the top.